This is Culpeper Garden in Islington. Um, it's often described as a little oasis in Islington because it's rather tucked away and it often becomes a great surprise to pe people to actually find the garden because it's quite unique in, in Islington. A garden like this helps people relax, you know, they come over here, they do a bit of gardening or they do a bit of pottering and sometimes you have a little chat and you maybe share your problems, uh, but it's all really about the gardening and the garden. When Martin got stabbed, um, his parents wanted to do a peace garden for him in the local park he used to hang about in. And then the Yip asked us to do like a garden for them to get us involved in doing it. When I when I first start, started it, I thought, oh, I'm not going to be able to do all this stuff. And then I got into doing it, and I started liking like getting myself into doing things. It looked pretty and different colours. Look nice, really nice. It, I felt kind of proud and glad that I got myself involved in it. And I think it is quite nice to do something around where he used to hang about. My plans of the future is to um, like to become like a nursery teacher and to like teach children different things and like do some gardening, do different stuff. I've been teaching environmental education in Islington schools for just over five years actually. This is my sixth year. These are called wild strawberries and they've just come blown in on the wind. If you leave them to grow, they produce little tiny baby strawberries. I started off with a passion to get as many children as I could to interact with their natural environment. I feel that living in a city so many of us don't have the opportunity. We grow up, we don't know where our food comes from. We don't realise that we have to live in balance with nature. And I think this has been a perfect way to get children connected with their natural environment, build up an enthusiasm, and then develop a respect, which I hope that they'll carry with them for the rest of their lives. Mm -hmm.